I'm joined by Dahi Harvey of Irish Thoroughbred Marketing to discuss the upcoming sales. Uh, yeah, um, we have a busy season ahead, or a couple of weeks ahead of us. We've got um, the big national hunt sales of the summer um, in Goffs, the Land Rover sale, and in Tats Ireland in the Derby sale. So we're a busy couple of weeks ahead. Um, obviously, we work very closely with the two sales companies in promoting their sales, in promoting past success, and, and basically pushing each sale to maximise the, um, the attendance of, of buyers at the sale, and specifically for these sale, buyers from the UK. Dahi, what assistance does ITM give to overseas buyers? Uh, well, we offer financial system assistance in the shape of our Inward Buyer Programme where we, buy, we contribute to the uh, costs of their travel costs, and their airfares, and ferry costs. Um, we also provide help in, in booking hotels and we, we'll pick them up from the airport, um, we'll wine and dine them when they're here and make sure they have a good time and, and hopefully uh, make it as easy as possible for them to do business here. But with a national hunt sale, the only real sort of uh, vibrant market is the UK for our source at the moment. So, um, but I know these, we're still in tough times at the moment, but people are, they still need horses um, and hopefully they're going to be coming to Ireland to buy them. The Land Rover sale is the first sale at Goffs um, on June 12th, so um, we we're, we're urge people to um, give us a call to, if they need hotels or if they need um, anything, anything that we can do to help them, uh, their trip to Ireland goes as smoothly as possible. And earlier this week we caught up with Henry Beebe at Goffs and Simon Cairns at Tattersills Ireland to find out about the upcoming sales. Henry, can you tell us what to expect from this year's sale? Well, you can expect two days of top-class national hunt performers. You can expect to see some champions of the future. You can expect to see winners at all levels of the market. And you can expect to see a really good collection of national hunt horses who are going to the top. This year was another great year for Goffs graduates. We had six winners at the Cheltenham Festival. We had grade one winners at the Cheltenham Festival. We had grade one winners at the Aintree Festival. We had grade one winners at the, at the Punchestown Festival. And year after year, Goffs graduates punch well above their weight. We've sold Cheltenham Gold Cup winners recently. We've sold Champion Chase winners recently. We sold this year's Champion Hurdle winner. And every year you can guarantee that when you're at the major festivals, you'll see Goffs horses winning and winning at the top of the top, of the, top, of the top level. Fisher's Cross this year in Cheltenham and at Aintree, so a fantastic achievement for that horse. Yeah, he's, he's typical. He runs in the colours of J.P. McManus, uh, trained by Rebecca Curtis, bought by Gerard Costello. Uh, people we expect to see back at the sale and buying well, because you go back to where you started. You go back to where you, you have success. And this year we've got a cracking catalogue. I'm absolutely adamant this is the best catalogue Goffs have put together for many, many years, if not ever. A third of the catalogue is by, uh, are by the top five sires in the country. Um, every single pedigree you'll see is, is destined to go to the top and I think you'll see some quality horses from quality Irish farms uh, at the Land Rover sale this year. Of course, so talking about the, the profile of the sires this year is very, very strong. We've got Beneficial, Flemingsforth. Um, can you tell us a little bit more um, or are there any particularly strong pedigrees? There are, there are a number of particularly strong pedigrees and I'm certainly not going to uh, pick one, one out and uh, put my little mark on it because the fact of the matter is, from start to finish, we've got 526 horses over two days. From start to finish, we're going to have a, a solid bunch of horses. They're real quality. They've been hand-selected by our agents who travelled the length and breadth of the country, talking to the major Irish breeders. And Irish breeders, yet again, have stepped up to the mark. They're supporting the sale, a, a quality sale, a sale of success, with real stars. And as you say, we've got all the leading sires, some lovely pedigrees, and some beautiful individuals to match those pedigrees. And of course, coming on to the 100,000 euros Land Rover bumper at Punchestown next year, all the horses are eligible to run in that race. Absolutely, and this year it was won by Moyles Park, a 10,000 euro graduate of the sale, demonstrates the quality and the value that's on offer at Goffs. It's absolutely unrivaled, and you see horses in the past who've won that, won that race, horses like Hardy Eustace have gone on to great success. It's a stepping stone, to, it's a stepping stone for champions, really. And of course, Moyles Park, the Willie Mullins trained horse, I believe, gone on to be sold for €250,000. Yeah, and that's th that's a common theme. And we had a horse called the Game Changer who topped our Punchestown Festival sale of 190000 cost just 35000 There was another horse that day made 100000 it cost 30000 last year. This is a sale, yes, we, we provide champions, but we provide winners at all levels of the market, horses that go on, that are bought for value and go on, prove themselves on the track and then be sold for great profit. So this is the place to come if you want to do that. So whatever you're looking for, whatever kind of horse at whatever level of the market you need to come to the Goffs Land River sale. 
And obviously last year, a very, very strong sale for yourselves. How are you expecting trade this year? Well, we're hoping it can, at, at the very least, match last year. We've put together, as I said, a very strong catalogue as a result of last year. Last year, we sold the second highest price store of the year at €150,000, which, which is a record equaling price, the Land River sale. The average on day one was about €20,000. And there's enormous value to be had. So, I mean, really, we've got a, we've got a two-day sale of 526 horses that offer something for everybody. All levels of the market will be catered for. So if you're aiming for Cheltenham, Aintree or Punchestown, come to Goffs. If you're aiming to win the point to point field, come to Goffs. If you're aiming to win on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, come to Goffs. Whatever you want, we've got it. We've got the biggest uh, store catalogue of the year this year and it's packed full of quality from start to finish at all levels of the market. So key themes being quality and value for money at Goffs? As with every Goffs sale, quality and value, that's what we provide, that's what we're here to do. We work hard with the Irish breeders every year to provide the very best of Irish to anybody who wants to come and that's what you'll find at Goffs, quality, value and an unrivalled service from a dedicated team. Simon, tell us what can we expect from the sale? Um, well, we hope it'll be, we'll have the fireworks like we've had in previous years. Um, we've had a world record price for a store two years ago, €360,000 for a three-year-old gelding by um, presenting. So last year we had another horse by Scorpion made €250,000, which is the top price for a store in um, the UK or Ireland. So we generally have fireworks at the sales. It's um, widely regarded as being the best store sale of its kind in the world. and. Um, we get a huge number of overseas purchasers from the UK, France, the States as well sometimes. So um, we hope to see the fireworks this year as well. So as you say, a fantastic source of top quality horses uh, available. Tell us a little bit about your Cheltenham records this year. It's a pretty impressive one. Well, we had 13 winners at Cheltenham Festival this year. We had uh, 41 winners in all. Um, Tattersall's Ireland graduates won 41 winners. 41 races at uh, all the various festivals, albeit Punchestown, Fairy House, Aintree and Cheltenham. But we had 13 individual winners at uh, the Cheltenham Festival. Um, amongst those were the Derby Sale graduates, Champagne Fever, Q Card, the new one, just to, to name but a few. But um, yeah, we had a tremendous year and there's no better advertisement for the sale than uh, high profile festival winners. And uh, that's what we want to see, and especially coming from the Derby Sale. Absolutely, and just looking at this year's catalogue, can you tell us a little bit about the pedigree that's on offer? Well, thankfully we're very, very lucky in that we get the pick of the horses that are on offer both from the UK and Ireland, so um, we've got, I mean, as many high-profile pedigrees as you want. Um, we've own, own sisters to, to Cheltenham winners, we've half-brothers and sisters to Cheltenham winners, Aintree winners, um, so I mean, who knows, they may not be the ones that will, will win in, in the high profile races in the future, but um, we've got a very, very tight select catalogue. We've 406 lots and one additional lot, subsequently an A lot, um, in the sale this year. Simon, can buyers expect anything new in this year's sale? Yeah, well, we hope to have, um, we hope to have, originally the Derby sale has always had a horse and training section. Um, in the 80s and 90s, we always had a horse and training section at the prelude or the start of the sale. So we have very, very high profile horses were, were offered for sale. The likes of Granville again, who went on to win a champion hurdle, Sunny Bay, Elegant Lord were amongst some of the horse and training and offers. So we've decided with the um, with horse and training being in vogue and you know them fetching enormous prices at public auction and, and privately this year, we decided we'd uh, We'd offer some select, a select or a small group of uh, horses in training at this year's Derby sale. After lot 90, we'll introduce maybe five, six um, horses in training, but high profile horses in training. If we don't get them, we won't catalogue them. But I mean, I think it is a very, very good platform and it's an ideal platform for people to have horse in training at the sale because we've all the the buyers here, we've all the UK trainers, owners, agents here, and uh, that's who people want to sell to. So it's a, it's a perfect shop window to have your horse in training in that sale. Perfect. And tell us a little bit about the Fairy House Bumper. Yeah, the Fairy House Bumper, um, it's the George Mur Myrna Memorial Tattersall's Ireland Sales Bumper. It's for graduates of the, um, the Derby and the August sale. A number of years ago, people mentioned to us that it would be no harm to have a, a bumper at the 
for graduates of the Derby and August sales. So it's uh, it's worked out well. Um, Blueberry Hill won this year. He went on to make two hundred and fifty thousand at public auction um, just after winning the race. So it, it's it's ideal because there was a there's a misconception that the Derby sale has historically were for slower maturing type horses, but um, we find that it, it's generally the three year olds from the previous year go on to win the bumper the following year as, as four year olds. Um, and the likes of Q Card, who, who was sold as a three-year-old here at public auction, won the Cheltenham bumper the following year. So uh, Champagne Fever, Q Card and um, Cousin Vinny are just a few of the horses that have uh, been Derby sale graduates that went on to win Cheltenham bumpers. So um, it's a high-profile race. It's run at the Easter Festival and it creates a bit of excitement and opportunity to win, you know, um, the person who bought Blueberry Hill, Tim Hyde, um, I mean, he won 60 grand for for the for first prize this year. So uh, we, we hope it continues as well. So a really high calibre of horses there that you've just listed out. In terms of um, last year's sale, um, it was a very successful one for you. How do you expect this year's trade to go? I I mean, you can never, it's, it's so difficult to predict because I mean, it, however, the greatest, the greatest thing we could see is our horses, our graduates winning at the festivals. Cheltenham is what it's all about and uh, I mean we had an outstanding Cheltenham. I mean we nearly won 50% of all the races there so it's it's what you want to see. Um, I mean you can put all the ads in the paper, you can shout about our graduates as much as possible but without them winning or performing at the festivals, um, you know people don't you know, sit back or take notice. So um, I'd like to think you'd be hopeful. Um, you'd never say confident, but you'd be hopeful that it'll be a good sale. And we've a tight, we've kept the sale very, very tight, specifically to keep the quality up. So you'd, you'd like to think it'll be good. Fantastic. And I suppose quality being the key theme, really, of what's on offer here at Ashfield Ireland. Yeah, I mean, we've always uh, it's always been it's always been a quality it's always been a quality sale. It's um, I mean, I've heard people say it's it's the flagship National Hunt select sale in in the world, and we like to keep the quality up, um, and we will continue to do so. I mean, you know, we could have easily had 500 lots or, or four days of lots if we wanted, but um, the buyers want when they come here, they want proper horses. Um, so you know, with good pedigree, so that's what we've done and uh, we hope that that'll materialise with a, with a good sale. And tell me a little bit about the Philly scheme. Yeah, well, it's an initiative um, really pushed by the ITBA and all the sales companies are behind it as well. I suppose it's been very difficult to sell National Hunt Phillies in recent years. Um, um, so it's a scheme whereby any filly that goes through public auction, a three-year-old filly that goes through public auction, um, they can make their sell, make them their, themselves eligible for the scheme by paying an additional 50 euros. Vendors pay an additional 50 euros on top of the entry fee, and purchasers then have an option to enter. There's two different options at two stages later on in the year. Um, if they don't go through public auction, vendors can still enter in that way. Um, and any filly that wins a mares only bumper from January 2014 um, will win an additional 5,000 euro bonus on top of the prize money. So for an owner, um, if they've bought a public auction here or if they are for an owner who's retained a filly and have made themselves eligible for the scheme, they can win an additional five grand bonus on top of the prize money. So it's, it's a good incentive. I don't think it's, it's not going to be um, a tsunami type effect on the demand for fillies, but it's certainly going to help. And we've changed um, the focus on our sponsorship with regard to point to points this year to mayors only races. We used to sponsor predominantly gelding races or only gelding races. So I'd say 80% of the point to points, the 29 point to points we sponsored this year were for mayors only. Um, and there's two grade one races that have been have been introduced into the Irish pattern this this year as well. So, uh, along with those initiatives, um, particularly this new ITBA Phillies initiative, I, I think it is going to be help and it'll create more demand for Phillies. Thank you very much, Simon, and we wish all at Ashfield Ireland the very best ahead of their Derby sale, which promises to be an excellent two days.